Hello, we're Mac and Sarah and welcome to our channel. We make travel and caravan content and this week we're staying at Black Horse Farm Caravan and Motome Club site near Folkestone. In this video we're going to give you a site tour for all this site has to offer, talk about some of the things that you can do in the local area including the pub over the road and just generally enjoy some winter camping. Mm. Oh yeah, that's nice. Black Horse Caravan and Motorhome Club site is just four miles from Folkestone and 11 miles from Dover. It's really convenient for both the ferries and the Channel Tunnel if you're headed for France. There are 119 pitches with hard standing, grass and serviced pitches. The site is also dog friendly and has an on-site dog exercise area. Okay, first, how about a little site tour? Just outside the site, you've got this fantastic little convenience store which has everything you might need for a short break and super friendly staff and a post office. Here's the reception block and the arrivals area. Nice big arrivals area, plenty of room. Now, if you happen to be arriving out of hours, especially if you're on a ferry pitch, you will find an envelope in here with your registration number and your pitch details and your barrier key, which is a super simple, really helpful system. It means you can arrive out of hours. Reception is closed right now, but here are your very helpful site team, Annette, Tony and Sue. Just behind reception is a toilet and shower block. This one is closed because we're in the off season now, but there is a second one further in. Also here, you've got your motorhome service point, and there are two points, making that convenient for whatever type of vehicle you have. A fantastic bonus of this site, if you're traveling to France, either by ferry or by the Channel Tunnel, there are more than 20 ferry pitches making it an ideal stopover the night before you travel. Now talking to Tony, the warden, he was telling me that they allocate your pitch based on your outfit size and your time of departure in the morning. And you can arrive out of hours, pick up your key from the cabinet at the front of reception, help yourself, and when you go, just leave your barrier key and off you pop. They will even give you directions for the channel tunnel and the ferry terminal which avoids any local traffic on the motorway. There are a few different types of pitches on site and these ones here which are slightly narrower are standard hard standing pitches without an awning. There are also lots of grass pitches on site although nobody's using those right now because it is wet and a little boggy. There are some standard hard standing with awning pitches alongside the dog walk on the left hand side so that's pretty handy. Here's a couple of serviced pitches like the ones that we are on. So on a service pitch of course you get your fresh water supply and your grey water disposal plus your electric hookup and they are a really decent size, very big. So we are over on the side of the site here and we picked a south facing pitch because as you can see it gets a little bit of sun most of the day and being winter that's lovely. There's a few more service pitches here and again some grass pitches and what I like about this site is that the types of pitches are spread all around the site so there's likely to be something that meets your criteria. Here's just your standard utility point with your wastewater disposal, drinking water, supply, rubbish and recycling and a chemical toilet emptying point. And at the very end of the site there's a tent area here which not surprisingly is empty because it's December and it's cold. But in the summer, this will be a lovely spot. It's a parking area right in front of it. And there's a couple of picnic tables for the use of the campers. Right next to the tent area at the end of the site is another toilet and shower block with laundry and washing up facilities as well. Around the side is a specifically uh, accessible toilet and shower. And there's a dishwashing area. And this is our spot here, a nice service pitch, very big, just like the others, and a gorgeous sunny outlook. Okay, so that is the site tour done. The only thing I didn't show you was the dog walk, 
but let us collect the dog and we will go and do that now. The on-site dog walk is really good. Um, it's fully enclosed and you can let your dog off the lead. It's just right in size for Dozer, who is now 14 and a half. How big would you say it is? I think it's probably about 100, 150 metres, something like that. So for a morning break or an evening break right before bed for your dog, it is absolutely perfect. Yep. If you have a more energetic dog, then there are some walks that you can do directly from site and there are maps available in the information room. Uh, and Dozer is now nudging to let us know that he wants a treat. Better deliver, haven't we? <laughs> yes, we had. <laughs> Here in late November and we've had so far a real mix of weather. It has been raining for a couple of days but for the past few days it has been sunny, cold and crisp and absolutely glorious. Perhaps just right for an afternoon barbecue. I think so. mistake of starting a barbecue too late in the day and then it often gets too cold and also too dark to film so we are trying to do that now while the sun is still in the sky and we can make the most of it While we were here, we also filmed a Christmassy cocktails in our caravan video. So if you haven't checked that out, we'll leave it linked so you can go and give that a watch because it was a lot of fun trying out those cocktails. So we do have plenty of alcohol um, here, but what we don't have is a bottle of beer, which is a shame because it would go just perfectly with this barbecue. Now, one brilliant thing about this site is that right outside the front entrance, there is a shop. It sells all sorts of things including beer. Okay, it's a bit of a basic barbecue, but it's hot, and I reckon this is gonna hit the spot. Well, it may only be three degrees. <laughs> it is pretty cold. It's pretty cold. But we're not letting it stop us. Saucy sandwich and a burger. Perfect. While it's tempting to stay on site on a beautiful crisp winter's day like this, 
there are quite a few things to do in the local area. And here are three of the things that we did while we stayed here. The historic fishing town of Whitstable is about 40 minutes from the site on the North Kent coast. It's famous for fresh oysters, and whilst we didn't try them, the forge right on the seafront comes highly recommended. The narrow streets with their mix of historic and modern buildings are great fun to wander around, and if you look closely you'll get a real sense of the town's rich history. Once we'd explored for a while, we'd worked up a hunger so we were ready for lunch, and we headed for Revival. Revival is a cafe run by the mental health charity Mind, providing not only great food and drink, but also valuable support for the community. Inside, it's fantastically retro themed and they've done an amazing job with original furniture and decorations. We both had Greek halloumi wraps, which were absolutely mouthwateringly good. After lunch, we continued to stroll. This time, we went up to the harbour, where we found South Quay Shed. Inside, there's a bar and some great eateries, along with some independent shops as well. Unfortunately, most of the eateries were closed when we visited, but they do look great. As the winter sun started to go down, the evening glow over Whitstable was gorgeous, a perfect way to end our day. Just 15 minutes from the site is Samphire Ho. It's a 30 hectare man-made nature reserve created using 4.9 million cubic metres of chalk from the construction of the Channel Tunnel. Right on the sea, in the site of the Port of Dover, it's a haven for wildlife and a great place for a brisk coastal walk, maybe even some ship spotting. It's a great place to walk with your four-legged friend, but as livestock graze, they'll need to be on a lead. It's reasonably accessible, with paths which are pretty good, but can be a bit rough in places. By the car park, there's a cafe and visitor center and some toilets. There's also a large picnic area, but as it was cold and windy on our visit, we opted for a cuppa inside the visitor center. It's free to visit Samphire Ho and it's open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Just up the road from the site, Less than a mile is Folkestone Garden Centre. It's walking distance and there is a footpath, but with our senior dog Dozer, we decided to drive. It is everything you'd expect from a garden centre and we were really impressed with the selection of plants. The staff were super friendly. There's also a cafe which looked very popular with some outdoor seating for warmer days. After a busy day of exploring, we came back to the caravan to play a few rounds of one of our favourite games, Jaipur. We also played a few hands of Rummy, which is not Mac's lucky game. He never seems to win.
Well, we've had a lovely relaxing morning, not doing very much at all. We had a little sprinkling of snow this morning, so that was nice, but now we're off for a cozy pub lunch at the Black Horse, just over the road from the site. Looks like it's got a tasty menu too. While the pub is only up the road a short walk away, you do need to cross quite a busy road in order to get there. Well, we have got a little spot next to the fire. We've got a couple of drinks and we've just ordered some food. What have you ordered? I have ordered the fish and chips, which I'm eager, eagerly awaiting. And I have ordered a halloumi burger. Dozer has been given a couple of treats by the lovely landlady. And he is currently asleep on the ground. Okay, our food has arrived and I've gone for the halloumi burger and chips, which looks epic. And I'm going to hand over to Sarah, who is ready for her food. <laughs> what have you got? Okay. I have got the fish and chips, and look at the size of this piece of fish. It is enormous. Pretty glad we didn't go for starters. <laughs> Would not have had room. That is us back from the pub and a little bit of a review of that place um, it's really cozy it's a friendly local pub but in terms of food we were quite disappointed however there are a few pubs that are well recommended and there are menus for in the information hut of the campsite so if you're looking for a nice hearty pub lunch maybe try one of those instead one is called the jackdaw and the other is called the white horse so anyway for now let's get inside have a nice warm cup of tea. That sounds good. We have now come to the end of our stay at Black Horse Farm caravan and motorhome club site here in Kent and um, it's been a cracking little site hasn't it? It has I think if you're due to either take the ferry or the tunnel this would be the perfect place to pitch up overnight it's a really nice pleasant site. It's also great for exploring this area of Kent as well Canterbury's 25 minutes away. Whitstable was about 30 minutes Margate about the same we were what 20 minutes from Samphire Ho um, and you've got Folkestone Beach as well so it's a great location. We were chatting to one of the site wardens who told us that this site is due for a multi-million pound refurbishment in late 2024 including brand new toilet blocks so perhaps this is one to definitely check out after that refurb. I would say so. Meanwhile though, if you've enjoyed watching this video, please feel free to leave us a thumbs up. Perhaps leave us a comment as well. We absolutely love chatting to you in the comments. Have you been here? Let us know. Meanwhile, thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. Well, we are due to be leaving today and look at what we have woken up to. It's a winter wonderland and a new towing experience. Thank <laughs> you.